Hey there folks, uh, I got a new camera for you. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not doing a knife review today, I'm doing this camera review. I recently picked up the Sony um, RX100 uh, 5, which is the latest model. I think this came out in March. Um, I've heard so many good things about the RX100 uh, from people like uh, Joe Bananas uh, from First on Instagram, how awesome it is. It's a nice compact camera so I always wanted to check it out uh, I hesitated because I wasn't sure now this is supposed to be the best vlogging camera but as you guys know I vlog but for most of my vlogs is you know point of view looking at the knife not at myself you know not selfies whatever what everyone else uses it for so when I was searching through the uh, YouTube for like tutorials on how their settings are nobody really discussed like the video setting Nobody I could find how good it is. These, this one uh, does come uh, very well uh, with a very well, a good reputation on like amazing uh, focus points, supposedly more than any of the previous versions. Now, Joe has the, I believe he has the uh, RX103 or two, and he showed me like uh, he filmed something for me on knife, uh, on the knife that he did. Uh, he sent it to me uh, private. I took a look at it. He was zooming on knife. I was so impressed with it. And him and my friend basically talked me into it. And uh, I still hesitated. The hesitation is this is a $1,000 camera. It's, it is quite of an, an investment. It is in the compact series category. So it is a smaller camera, very small, even smaller than my phone. I'm filming right now on my Samsung Galaxy phone, which is super convenient. The last few 10 vids I've done, I've been doing on this phone because... The, the camera is awesome. I think it focuses in pretty quick. You see how quick it focuses? I mean, it, this might even be faster than this. This is pretty fast, and I'll switch later, and you'll see the difference. The, the only problem is the mics on this, uh, on this Samsung Galaxy phone is terrible, and you might hear it sound pingy or high treble, or I might fade in and out on the, on the audio. So that was kind of an issue that... I didn't like when I was filming my vids. I was happy enough with the um, video footage, but the audio wasn't that good. So I want to invest in this new camera because I do care about you guys. I want the best macros possible, and this is it. So I just want to show you guys this really quick. So it does have, uh, it's featured for its super fast autofocus. It does record in 4k video which i don't think i'm going to utilize i think that the standard um 1080p that i've been loading up which this one has a better resolution higher resolution is enough plus on this camera according to the reviews i've done i haven't done it yet if you do 4k videos it only does it five minute clips at a time and you know i'm long-winded i can't only speak for four minutes so it's going to be a much much longer I need it. So I did a test video last night. I did about eight minutes on, on the vid. I didn't go longer than that. So I really don't know the duration of a vid. Uh, I did put um, a micro SD card in. I think it's like 64 gigs. It's, it's enough. It's enough for my purposes. Um, it does, it is uh, weighty. The camera is heavy. Let me clean off the screen. It does feel heavy. I mean, it is a uh, heavy duty camera with more features than my phone. I gotta clean this, it looks disgusting. I, I also got a screen protector, I didn't get it yet. I will protect that because I heard this is prone to scratching. Uh, the screen is not touch screen. So that's one of the cons. Um, the battery life is butt on this, I heard. Uh, it is a small battery, so somewhere down the line, I'm going to buy another battery. I think what I'm going to use this camera for mainly is to film reviews like I'm doing now because it's going to be at home, and I'm not really going to. Maybe one day I'll take pictures of this with this because I heard it's awesome. Um, I don't do that. <laughs> I just do videos. But when you see me at Blade Show, I probably more than likely won't have this. I'll have my cheap uh, 2006 Sony camera, Tony's, I love Sony's, uh, which has been the standard for me, it's reliable, it holds a good battery life, and that's what I'll go to the booths and the tables to check out the vids, uh, the knives. Uh, this one, again, will primarily be used for home use for when I'm doing reviews with you guys, um, but what I wanted to do, what I want to show you guys is my settings, my settings, now again, 
I'm going to be solely dedicated to videos, not pictures. So this is going to be a review. My settings on just video settings. That's it. Nothing else. There's tons of videos on YouTube talking about pixels and shutter speed and all this crap that I don't really need. So this one is seriously dedicated for only guys that like 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 uh, uh, solo knife reviews where we just do point of view on the on on the knives, you know. And that's it. That's it. Well, solo knife reviews does do some kind of um, you know. He does some FaceTime with the camera, but not me. Uh, so I just wanted to show you what I use. Now, I am not an expert, so guess what I use? The auto, the program program auto, because it's so simple. So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys that. So the first thing you got to do when you set it, now there's so many settings here. I don't even know what all these things do. I would imagine the auto is just for photo. But as you can see, let's start, you know, let's start with auto. Oh, also, I want to point out things. These are the mics. These are the two mics on this camera. As you can see, they're fairly small. They're, it, it doesn't have a mic input, so you can't add a mic to it. What you get uh, mic-wise is what's built into the camera, so it's limited to a compact camera. So it's going to sound a little better than this phone and pretty much like my old camera, but not much better than one of those cameras that you can put like a... Uh, like a bullet mic where you can target a sound. So you'll see in a second when I flip over. So uh, what else? It's got this... Uh, I don't know. It's got all kinds of crap. It's got this flash. It's got this pop-up viewfinder. I think that's what it's called. It's got the, the lens zoom over there. Whatever you call that. Um, I, did pop, I did buy grips for it to sit over here. Some grips that you extend. They'll, uh, they'll make it a little bit more grippy. But I'll turn it on. All right, so this is on auto. So what I do is I switch it over to video. All right, and you can see over there, it tells you you're a movie uh, setting right now. And you hit OK. And that's it. You can either go to program auto. If you're, if you're better at it, aperture priority, shutter priority, manual exposure. Now, this is all I want to show you guys. I just go right here. Program auto and that's it. That's my setting. That's my setting for the next vid that I'm going to show you guys So just want to show you that guys that now it is mirrorless Apparently that's uh, some kind of an awesome technology. I don't know. I am not a camera guy But I'm gonna switch now to this camera and I'll do some uh, macros of some knives and We'll see see how it sounds now. You'll probably notice a considerable difference in the sound. All right, so Stand by. Okay, I'm back. So, I don't know if the audio is dramatically different. This is a little bit higher now uh, because I'm using my regular uh, tripod. What I use for the phone is just this cheap, flimsy, uh, you know, you guys have this, that you can use. The camera, this camera itself, this Sony uh, RX100 uh, is too heavy and it topples over. So I have to go use my regular stand. I have a couple items here just to show you guys the quality of the, the vid. Um, I forgot to mention that it's the, you know, the, the screen in the back of the camera, on the back of this camera, extends out. I didn't realize that when I bought it. So you can set it up. So if you could, I wish I had another camera to show you, but basically on uh, the back of it, let's see. I'm sorry, I, I should have shown it before. On the back of it, it pops out. You can flip it over. So if you want to do selfie videos, it also extends out. I hope you guys can picture that. It extends out so that you can, uh, like, like right I'm now, I'm looking at what I'm filming. All right, so I just want to show you guys really quick what we have here. So I got this. You see how fast the focus is? I hope the clarity is there. All right, and then you, you go out. Zooms quick. Go in. Zooms fairly quick. I mean, I don't know if the the phone was quicker or this is just as fast, but I think the quality in the vid is amazing. So here's the Hoback Warhorse, the Black Stallion version. So you know me. I'm going to show you guys macros off the knives that I get. So I want to show you. I wanted to get something that would capture the quality of the knives. So. Oh, that's what I specialize in, macros. 
So I just want to show you guys that. And you can see how it focuses in really nice on it, I think. Now you go far out, it, go, it adjusts the focus fairly quick. So very user friendly, very user friendly. Now, let's see if I, how close I can get without uh, it loosening, uh, losing focus. So that looks like it's still in focus. You can see there, oh, there's a focus. You can see there the number of my knife and the focus I can't tell <laughs> I am really close to the camera now let's see I'm about shh, right here I'm about two inches away from the lens that's about an inch and I can see it's struggling to focus I mean I'm an inch away so I guess around here is ideal all right Perfect. Well, that's where this is my wheelhouse, right? This is pretty much where I'll film everything right, right here. So I just want to show you guys that is a top, Lawson top. You can see the focus. I like, I mean, like my other camera, everything in the background is blurred and the focus is on the object I'm trying to show. And that's exactly what I wanted. That's it. Boca, Boca, everything else, right? I think that's a setting that Joe told me when it's blurred in the background. So I want to focus in on here. That's it. Pretty impressive. Uh, I'll probably go. <laughs> I'll probably go back to the Samsung because I forgot to show you guys the different. Um, you know the quality of the vids as you upload them. You know the 4K. So. So this uh, I hate to go back to because it looks it's gonna look so crappy. It's gonna sound crap. So I'm gonna go back to the Samsung now. Hopefully that was enough footage to show you to demonstrate. All right, guys. Hey, we're back to the Samsung Galaxy S7. Sorry for the back and forth. As you can see, the Galaxy 7 is awesome. You know what makes it look more awesome? My 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 screen is so big, I can see everything in detail. Where over here, what I was talking about is is, is a smaller screen. You know, it's not the size of a phone, so I can't really see it. But this looks amazing to me in the Galaxy. Um, so what I was talking about is this flips over. So if you want to do that thing where you film, hey, look at me, looking at myself, you could do that. Or, which is what I discovered yesterday, you can just pop this out this way. So you can adjust it. So when it's sitting on the uh, tripod, you can adjust it to see. Turn on. You can adjust it to see like what you're doing. Let me see, I can't see. All right. So you can adjust it to the angle you want. Right? I thought it wasn't going to do that. I thought it just flipped over and it was just stationary. Which would have sucked because if I'm angling over like this, I won't be, I'll have to stand up to look at a vid. So what I want to show you guys over here are my settings. Some of the settings. So here's the camera settings. Image size is L20. So if you guys decide to get this and if you like the video that preceded this one. Aspect ratio is 3.2. That was perfectly fine for YouTube. There are different settings. Again, you can do 4.3, 16 by 9. I stuck to the 3.2. The image size, you can go, again, different sizes. I went with the L20. Uh, the quality, I think that's set to automatic because it's on uh, program auto. Uh, what else? File format. This is what I want to show you guys. So this is new. I don't think Joe has this on his um, three uh, RX 103 or two. I forget which one Joe has. So I have it set at the XAVC HD, which is a little better than the AVC HD, which is what I use when I upload my old videos and the Samsung Galaxy. Um, they did somebody did a comparison video and it showed that there was more detail in the XAVCS HD. So that's what I set it at. Again, you could put it at 4K, you could put it at you know whatever you want. So I left it right here. That's what it was set to. I didn't change it. Uh, what else? Record setting. I did leave this alone. I didn't touch this. Again, very user friendly. I didn't have to think. So I went with a 60p by 50m. Don't ask me what the <laughs> that means. I don't know if that's frames per second. I don't know. But that's what it's there for. Um, there's a dual video recording. I don't know what that is. And nor do I care because so I'm not going to use it. Uh, pretty much everything here is set and you can change because it's on program auto. A focus area is wide. Again, program auto. 
So there's so many different options. I didn't change any of this. Nothing. Nothing. Everything is what it was at Program Auto, which suits my needs. And that's it. Oh, it does have a steady shot. That's nice. Not that I'm going to use this for a blade. Only because I'm afraid the battery's not going to last. And I don't feel like swapping out batteries. I heard the battery is terrible. I don't feel like swapping out batteries. Uh, I do film a lot during blade. I mean, for hours and hours. I don't need to carry around. I mean, the batteries are small. It goes in this compartment. And I don't want to carry around three or four batteries and keep swapping it out in a perfectly good Sony... Uh, old school camera that's been my go-to camera so I think I might just use that this again will be dedicated for uh, reviews here at home uh, yeah so I don't think I ch I don't think I really changed anything so I just stuck to it to the program auto and that's it all right folks that's my quick review I hope you guys found it useful if you're thinking about getting it I heard the previous model, the four and the three. I heard that you buy anything uh, three and above, you're golden. So if you guys are thinking about it, it is a lot of money. Uh, but it is an investment. Um, and hopefully you guys will benefit from it when I do future vids. Um, yeah, and again, this is not a super good overview on this camera. This is just for my needs. So because nobody did a vid on that, I wanted to address that. All right, guys. Uh, hopefully that was informative. Peace.